We have this idea that insulin resistance is a signaling issue where the cells, they respond really well to insulin, meaning that there's response to insulin that allows for glucose uptake. And then we see in people who have insulin resistance, people with diabetes, that this isn't happening and uh, the glucose is building up in the blood. And we've blamed this on a signaling issue where the cell has stopped responding effectively to insulin. And so we need more and more insulin to get the same effect until eventually it like, kind of stops responding altogether or we stop producing insulin altogether. That is an aspect of what goes on, but I would say it is an effect of the underlying issue as opposed to the issue itself. We have an issue metabolizing the glucose. So the glucose gets into the cells just fine. Rather, there's an issue using the glucose once it's inside the cell. And that leads to a low energy, high inflammation type state, high reactive oxygen species type state. It's also going to lead to a buildup of intermediates of glucose in the cell and glucose itself, which prevents more from coming in. And even if the signaling cascade is working okay, we would have to work against this gradient and we have so much glucose in the cell that it can't effectively accept more.